Continuing from our last chapter, we're already getting feedback from the first movies on inkjet printing with genuine pixels that we've released early. Now let's deal with some of the best questions we've been asked. First question, if my camera megapixel count is smaller than a category in your spreadsheet, or I have cropped my image down to less than the full capture area of my camera sensor, what PPI do I use for resolution? Well, as it's better to include more pixels from our camera sensor than less, I would advise you to use the next larger camera megapixel uh, count for your, for your particular category. So for instance, if you've got a camera of 22 megapixels, all you've got to do is go to the 24 megapixel category and read along the line for your recommended uh, pixel count. So if you had something like a 30 megapixel camera, you'd simply go further up to the 36 megapixel uh, camera category and then read along uh, that line there. Uh, now, if your image is cropped down, still use the same figure we advise for the full megapixel count for your particular digital camera. Now, the reason I say this is that from our observations, image print quality is unchanged when you exceed uh, the full megapixel count uh, from your digital camera. Now, uh, if you reduce the document resolution to below the genuine pixel count, you start to detect very small but noticeable reductions in quality. Uh, another question. If you're printing a smaller size, say 6x4 or 5x7 or 10x8, with a correspondingly smaller uh, viewing distance, what resolutions do I select for the various camera pixel counts? Well, the answer to that is that uh, we've published a, a, a smaller print spreadsheet that you will be able to uh, download as part of this series. So for 6x4, here we are, the 6x4, uh, for 36 megapixel, we would advise t uh, 1,200 pixels per inch. 24 megapixels, we'd advise 1,000 pixels per inch. 16 megapixel cameras, we'd say 820 pixels per inch. And for 12 megapixel cameras, we would advise 720 pixels per inch. So that would be this column here. Then we're looking at 5 by 7 prints. For 36 megapixel, we would advise 720 pixels per inch. So that's, uh, that's this column here. Uh, 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 five, five by seven over here. Uh, as I say, 36 megapixels, 720 pixels per inch. 24 megapixel cameras would be 720 pixels per inch. 16 megapixel cameras, you'd use 600 pixels per inch. And for a 12 megapixel camera at a 5.7 print, you would use 600 pixels per inch document resolution. Finally, for 10.8 size prints, if we had a 36 megapixel camera, we'd use 720 pixels per inch. For a 24 megapixel camera, we'd use 600 pixels per inch. And for a 16 megapixel camera, we'd use 480 pixels per inch. And finally, for a 12 megapixel camera, we'd use 420 pixels per inch for your document resolution. Now, we've crea as I said, we've created a small format uh, image resolution calculator for these camera and print sizes. It's on a PDF download, so you can, you can go to the link uh, uh, in this series. Next question. Surely, if I just keep my overall pixel count the same, am I not just doing the same thing? Now, my answer to that is, well, yes, so long as at no time in your workflow you allow your genuine pixel count to fall below your original sensor pixel count. Once you've disposed of genuine pixels, you can't get them back. My analogy is to the, the uh, enlarger, the neg, 
going into the enlarger, you're shining a light through the entire neg all the time, whether you're exposing paper for five by seven or 10, eight or larger, the light goes through the entire neg. Now, as far as the camera sensor pixels are concerned, I think it's sensible to take every single genuine pixel if we can. Uh, our next question, uh, now Epson have a printer native resolution of 360 pixels per inch and Canon quote a native printer resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Now who do I believe? Now my answer to that is that the idea of a printer native resolution came into being many years ago as a simplification of the term recommended document resolution in the days when a four megapixel camera was a good average. So let's treat these printer native resolutions as consumer level guidelines based on much smaller digital cameras, slower processing speeds, and let's face it, a general reduction in expectation of photo quality, photographic quality for digital printing in general. Now the next question, surely if my clients are happy with my print results up to now, why should I change my methods? Well, my answer to that is, well, it's up to you. I've been told by very experienced print workers that the file format JGE should be used at all times. Now that stands for just good enough. I personally feel that as a professional photographer or keen enthusiast, we should always strive for the best print quality we can sensibly achieve at all times. Next question. Well, this all seems to be a, a rather marginal improvement uh, over my existing method. Why should I bother? Well, this question is a bit similar to the last question. Um, I, I would add that uh, in this era of, of the threat of smartphone photography, I think we uh, should use every tool at our disposal to differentiate professional print standards with consumer quality, let's face it, low res imaging. Next question. Do I need to change my custom printer profiles when printing at these higher document resolutions? Uh, that's a good question. But uh, I would say, look, not immediately, but as custom printer profiles really need checking and replacing if required every six months, it's not a bad idea to get us to reprofile. Uh, it's always a free pro. Uh, it's always a free service from us anyway. Um, next question. I can't really see much difference in the print uh, quality in your videos. How can I actually see these changes for myself? Well, my answer to that would be to use our downloadable test images, which we set at various document resolutions for you you can then print them out and put them side by side and you'll soon see for yourself. Uh, last question, uh, can I come to your showroom and see uh, 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 the prints for myself? And my answer is of course, yes. Now we're just outside Eastbourne on the south coast of England. We'd love to see you if you can make it. Come down and see our setup, it's a lovely modern uh, uh, arrangement down here will show you all the different uh, prints of all the different sizes from all the different cameras so we'd love to see you now any questions not dealt with here use email or Facebook to challenge any of our statements and opinions uh, we'll stop now and continue in our next video